you might have some old computers laying around your office or your house and you're thinking, well, should I get rid of them? Should I give them to the recycler? What should I do? Because you might have personal data still stored on the hard drive of these computers. A lot of times we get hard drives here from, we used to get like skids full of hard drives to, uh, from recycler. We used to go through them because we use them for parts or, or whatnot. I used to sell the boards. And I used to go through the drives to see if there's any data on it. And a lot of times I would find personal data. I would find pornography even like homemade pornography so that's you know it's kind of scary that if if this gets into someone's hands who's not like this company where we actually erase these drives uh you can imagine what can happen it can be end up on the internet we had drives with with uh, from governments not encrypted data wasn't wiped so you gotta think about these things so i got some computers that came in uh for wiping and this is just normal standard hard drives uh we're gonna pull them out i'm gonna wipe them i'm gonna show you a few methods of wiping hard drives uh, they're all going to be free free options. I'm not going to go through all, all the uh, different wiping tools. There's just way too many. But I want to show you the ones that we use here that we um, that we trust and they, they do a good job. If you're new here, consider subscribing. I have a lot of different content on this channel. Uh, make sure you share and like the videos and drop a comment. It definitely helps the channel. Anyways, enough with the talking. Let's get the drives out from these computers and start wiping them. And I want to show you the tools that we use that we trust for wiping. So here are the laptops, let's pull them out of this bag. We obviously don't need the chargers, those can go. So let's see what we got here. We got, uh, I don't know what the hell this is, let's see. This is, <laughs> this is really old, wow. So an Acer Aspire 1, I actually had one of these back in the day, I remember. Um, uh, this is kind of this was kind of cool. This was uh, before um, before um, Apple came up with the MacBook Air. This was like the answer to to small and portable tiny laptops, and this was it. It's Acer Aspire One. I actually have one still at home. Uh, that I gave to my son to play with, but he didn't care for it. So that's that. We got a compact here, uh, also pretty old. The drive is going to be here, and we got this one, which is an Acer. So I'm not expecting an SSD in these drives, and in these laptops, I mean, even if it was SSD, it doesn't really matter, it's wiping is wiping. Uh, but uh, let's crack into this thing. This could be an EMMC storage actually, come to think of it. Because there was a few models of these laptops, there's one with hard drive and there was one with EMMC storage. And I think this one might have EMMC storage, so this one we would have to probably boot D-Band uh, to wipe it. Um, then we have these ones with just simple, uh, simple drive removal. And that is some old drive. I think it's an IDE. So I don't want to bore you with me disassembling the computers and taking the drives out. So what happened is I get got all the drives out. This is uh, one of the drives that I took out. And uh, then I got to the other laptop. Uh, try getting the drive out so and then I went to the Aspire and I was hoping to boot it from D-Band uh, to show you how D-Band works unfortunately the D-Band wasn't working on this particular laptop because there's a problem with the, uh, e the SD slot it just can't get past it and unless I can disable it in BIOS you can't boot D-Band on this particular laptop so I just got the drives out and disassembled the whole thing and took it apart which is also just pain in the ass because the laptop I have at home has a door to get to the drive and this and this model which is almost exactly the same does not have a door so the only way to actually get the drive out of this laptop is to take it apart which also was uh, absolute pain uh, so you can see me here taking it apart and ripping everything out this is gonna end up going to recycler anyway so I don't really care about taking care of this thing so here we go the drives are out so I think this was a 160 gig Western Digital and then we also had a 640 Western Digital SATA and then third drive which was an 80 gig IDE drive two and a half inch so there are the drives so they're all out and now we're gonna take them over to my workstation and we're gonna start wiping them okay so I moved over to one of my workstations uh, I plugged the drive into a SATA port uh, on this Windows machine and we're gonna use active kill this now I'm not in any way shape or form uh, trying to sell you active kill this or anything I'm they're not sponsoring me it's just just so happened that I'm using Active Kill Disk. I don't really like using that. I prefer using Linux. And I'm going to show you the Linux portion after the Windows portion. So just a few words. I, I'm sure some of you heard that you got to wipe the drive seven times or eight times and all that stuff. Absolutely unnecessary. All you got to do is wipe the drive once. That's all you got to do. 
one single wipe will write to all the sectors will write zeros or whatever pattern you like it will write everything and it will overwrite the data there's no recovery from that the multiple passes thing goes back to 80s and the 90s when the drives were uh, writing the data differently to the hard drive, to the platters. It's not like that anymore. Now, now a single wipe is enough. I mean, and I'm sure you watch my other video. Uh, they lie, the first part, where I talked about translators. Sometimes just destroying the translators, it's enough to delete the data uh, because of the uh, on the SMR drives, uh, the way it is. I'm going to link it above if you want to watch it. There's also a lot of misconceptions about hard drives, what can and can't be done. And I remember uh, I posted a video on TikTok about um, hard drives and someone said, oh yeah, you can still recover data from platters. That were damn broken in half no you can't i know there's some government agencies that shred the drives and hold the the pieces and storage for some strange reason they think uh maybe someday someone's gonna get to it it's not gonna be recoverable i, I even had I saw a comment someone said that uh that they sent out um <clears throat> pieces of a hard drive with, with platters shattered and they were still recovered not possible it's all bs it's just people talking bs they don't know what they're talking about so that's the thing <clears throat> Another thing is, if you wiping SSDs, single pass is enough. I know there's unused memory pages and there's some data left behind there, but your average Joe, but even people who are in this industry, they won't be able to get to these active pages. Even if you do, most SSDs are encrypted anyway. So what are you gonna get? Just scramble data from an unused page? I mean, if you wanna be sure, you can really just wipe the drive two times if you want, but it's pointless. Just enable encryption on the SSD and then wipe the drive and data's gone. That's pretty much it. And we're gonna verify the wiping after we're done so i actually moved the uh, 80 gig ssd uh from the linux machine i brought it over here so the 80 gig ssd is on this machine uh and also the 160 gig uh sata drive is back there on linux we're gonna wipe that one with linux so let's jump into the computer now and i'm going to show you uh the way to wipe it with using on windows active kill disk so we see here the drive is um shown up this is the 80 gig ones so all we got to click now is erase disk so you're gonna click erase disk and of course, single pass, more than enough. There's no need to choose any of these ones, multiple 50 million, 35 passes. It's absolutely pointless. It's a waste of time. Just like the destruction of drives is also a waste of resources and uh, the drives could be repurposed for something else unless they reload them, uh, whatever. So we're gonna do single pass with zeros. Uh, we can also verify it if you want. Um, you can initialize the disk when it's done. Uh, we can also write a fingerprint to, eat, uh, to the first sector. So you can write like, uh, and then we're gonna go hit start. You can even do, uh, certificates here if you want but all you gotta do is hit start and make sure you make sure you uh select the right disk because you will wipe if you wipe your system drive i'm not gonna be responsible for that so you're gonna type in erase all data okay so i gotta verify disk 9 this is the 80 gig uh, id drive gonna hit okay and now you can see but the light here is in progress so it is wiping the drive when it's done uh, we're going to open the drive in our studio. We're going to look at the sectors. I'm going to show you there's nothing to be recovered from that drive because single wipe is more than enough. So while that's going, let's jump over to my uh, Linux machine here. So uh, we're in a Linux machine here. So we see the 160s plugged in. This is the way I like to wipe drives because it's easy, easy simple. There's no software you need to buy, any of that stuff. It's already part of your system. It's, there's no need to install anything. It's all, all you got to do is type in DD and we go input file slash dev slash uh, you can see the 160 slash dev slash sdj no i'm wrong this is uh, if i was imaging a drive so we go slash dev slash and here is you can decide what do you want whether you want to write zeros or you want to write random characters to the drive we're going to do zero so you're going to slash dev slash zero zero i can type output file equals dev slash sdj and now if i'm going to hit enter it's going to ask for the root permission so we're going to go back here Yep, and sudo space okay i right, put in our password now when i hit enter this will start wiping this drive just verify you're wiping the right drive slash dev slash as sdj it will be this drive as soon as i hit enter you're gonna see this this will get wiped so enter and it's going i know there's no progress uh so if you want to see progress another method would be see i just stopped it see what happened uh, the partition just got wiped uh you can do another method uh you can do dd rescue if you have it installed it will work uh in dd rescue there's no f equals you don't have to use any of that uh signs you can just type in uh, this and you hit enter and that's going to give you progress of what it's doing so what it's doing is taking slash the, the slash dev slash zero and it's writing all zeros into the drive so 
Uh, good thing about DD Rescue is you can see the progress. You can also show progress in DD. I just didn't feel like going through the command prompt, uh, but it's doable. So we're gonna let that finish and then we're gonna go back and we're gonna look at both of the drives, see if they're actually wiped. So the wiping is finished. As we can see, the 80 gig is done. Uh, you can look at the log, you can look at the attributes and the overview. Uh, you can print this if you want, but anyway, so here's the drive, here's the 80 gig. We can see it's done. So we can verify if uh, the data has actually been erased. But before I go there, we're also wiping the last drive, which is the 640, uh, because that one's connected directly to SATA port is much quicker. So uh, the 80 gig took about uh, about an hour. It's USB plus it's an IDE, tiny two and a half inch IDE. They're not exactly a quick <laughs> quick drives and, there's, and they're super flimsy. Uh, if you ever had laptops back in 2002 and three or, or around their time, with the IDE drives, you know, uh, you dropped the laptop the wrong way and uh, there goes the drive. Uh, I've seen a lot of those fail. Uh, e even even if you just shake the laptop too much, um, it, it will screw up the, lap the hard drive. So really bad drives back in the day. They're a bit better now. I mean, the SSDs, that's a whole different thing. Uh, those things can shake. Uh, if you're not too rough with them, I mean, nothing. there's no moving parts, nothing will break. So I guess we should verify the drive. So uh, we're gonna open our studio. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna view the actual sectors. So we're gonna go right to the drive and we're gonna view it. As you can see, it's all zeros because the software is written zeros. You can see there's nothing here. Completely empty. So the drive has been properly erased. There's nothing to recover here. We can run any recovery software you want on this drive and we'll get nothing. I mean, I can really, I can start a scan and you'll see there'll, there'll be nothing. Let's hit a scan here. Now uh, you'll see that it won't find anything it's because the drive has been erased. That's why. That's what I was trying to say. There's absolutely no point running six, seven, eight, even two passes. Pointless. Absolutely pointless. It's a waste of time. Um, you can see it's moving along. It won't find anything because there's nothing there. You can saw the the sectors. It was just zeros. As you can see, nothing was found. So that's the one drive. And now uh, we also have the one in Linux. So that one's also done. So it's finished. Uh, actually, uh, it, it errors out at the end. And the reason for that is because uh, the, the, the block device slash dev SDJ is finished. There's nothing else to write. So uh, slash dev zero errors out because of that. Uh, so you can see there's nothing found. And we can open um, X edit SDJ. Oh, forgot. Forgot the permissions. See, it's all zero. So if you drop down, there'll be nothing here. And we can even open our studio. And here's the 160. We can uh, view it. And you can see there's absolutely no data. So it's also, so this drive here was erased using uh, uh, DD Rescue or DD with pointing slash dev slash zero to the drive. And you see it's written zero. So if you were to use slash dev slash random, you end up with a bunch of random characters. That's also an option if you want to really uh, be sure the data's gone. But even with zeros, data's gone. There's nothing to recover. So that's gonna be it uh, for this video. Like I said, SSD, it's the same idea. It's a, it's a little bit fear mongering talking about uh, if you do a secure race on SSD, you can still get some data. It's highly unlikely. I mean, it's it's theoretically possible, but it's no one's gonna be going to those extents. I mean, like I said, not gonna happen. Uh, and with, with, with traditional hard drives, there is some data left behind. So if you have bad sectors and the drive has been writing the, uh, moving data back, moving sectors to the G list, you are going to find some data in, the, in those sectors. But what really could be in, in few sectors, unless you have a 10,000 consecutive sectors, uh, maybe there's something you can recover. But your average Joe is not going to find anything. So. I mean, if you really want to make sure you can destroy the drive, but I think it's unnecessary. It's, it's the best thing is to write zero, repurpose the drive and use it for something else. Uh, I just hate seeing things going to waste like that. On that note, I'm going to end this video. So thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe for more videos. Uh, not sure what's going to be next week. I don't have anything planned for next week. Maybe nothing. I'm sure there'll be something. Uh, make sure you subscribe for more content and I'll see you in the next video.